Have you scanned the brains of those who might have antisocial traits like mass shooters or like convicted felons? What do you find in those type of brains? So I have about a thousand convicted felons, over a hundred murderers, and a couple of mass shooters. They're terrible brains. I actually published this in the journal of neuropsychiatry and clinical neurosciences. All murderers do not have the same brain. There are impulsive murderers, compulsive murderers, random murderers. Kip Kinkle, for example, who murdered his mom and dad in Springfield, Oregon in April 1998, and then went to his high school and shot 25 people. He has one of the worst brains I've ever seen for someone who is 15 years old. I think he had anoxia or an infection at some point in the past, and that's how he could do that clearly inhuman thing. There are other studies that show people with antisocial personality disorder have low frontal lobe function. They also have slower heart rates and lower sweat gland activity. They're clearly different. And it's why lie detectors aren't admitted into court. Lie detectors work, right? For probably somebody like you and me, if we tell a lie, it makes us anxious and the machine goes. If they tell a lie, it doesn't make them anxious and their bodies don't react, which is why they don't admit lie detectors in court anymore. 